What's going on guys and welcome back to some more this is how to beat Majora's Mask in the last part we uh I basically taught you how to get the first few stray fairies in Woodfall Temple and in this part we're going to do none other than get that bow and arrow I'll teach you how to get that anyways we're going to uh we're going to try to shoot the snop up with this thing except it's not really working and now it's working yay anyway so um we're basically going to get you, I'm going to get you through uh I'm gonna get through the Woodfall Temple up until we get the uh, bow, which is the uh, item in this temple. It'll be a shorter video than usual. Be careful in this room also, because like if you fall in one of those holes, you'll also like go back earth to the first floor. So you'll have to go all the way back up. You have to go through that dark room again. And it's actually approaching the dawn of the second day. We want to be you keep, we want to be human like to hit that switch because you can't do it as a Deku. Deku Link doesn't have enough weight, if you know what I mean. Anyway, there should be something coming up. I think uh, okay, that room down there, that's where you get the bow and arrow. If we're doing a completionist run also, um, oh, actually this isn't the one I was thinking of, but uh, it is where we get the bow and arrow. And so use your shield basically to block us the things. He's gonna breathe fire at you, it's one thing these things couldn't do in Ocarina of Time. It's a good Dark Souls jump, but then I got burned anyway. Yeah, and then like, uh, just dodge the fire and... Sorry for the shorter filler video, but this is how we get the bow and arrow. And fun fact, if you, you can just get this bow and just go straight to Snowhead. Anyway, so I'll cut it off to this part, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.